Hey everybody, I'm Sam Gross with electricbikereport.com and we're here at day three of the big gear show in Park City, Utah. And we're once again here with Dale Aguas, Turns North American Territory Manager. And he's gonna walk us through Turns GSD cargo bike. And this is GSD's S00 LX model. Did I say that correctly? That's right. That's so right. what what is this bike? Tell me a little bit more about it. So this is the GSD, it's, it's, it's a series of bikes and this is the S00 LX. And uh, it, it's a really, well-made bike that you can simply get stuff done whether it's passenger carrying one or two passengers whether it's cargo or a combination of both this is a really well-built purposeful bike for you to do what you want to do very cool i heard arlie from turn when we picked pick this bike up this morning because we already did some riding on it today she described it as a modular bike. Can you tell me a little bit more about why this would be a modular bike? Yeah, so so think of it, I, I, I like to think of it from front to back. On the front end, we have multiple accessories that you can carry things like a briefcase we have that can mount on a luggage truss CMT, we call it. We have a basket that you can mount, or this is what you call a hauler rack. We have a bigger rack, so in the front end, you can carry different types of cargo. Obviously in the center, it's gonna be the rider. On the tail end, now you could do all sorts of things, whether it's a cargo setup, a passenger setup, baby seats, or a combination of both. And, and so it's, it becomes modular to, so you can set it up how you like to. And different people have different needs. That's why that versatility is so important because not everybody has children and they're gonna use this for cargo, maybe delivering pizza. Or you have two kids and you're dropping one off at school, you're taking the other one to the park, then on the way home, you're going to the groceries and the bike can do all of it. Very cool. So let's talk about this specific bike that we have here today. This is the S00 LX. Yep. So if a consumer were to buy this bike, what would they be getting? So they're gonna get this bike. It, it comes with the Bosch cargo line motor, drive, drive system. It also comes with your choice of single or dual battery, so 500 watt hour or 1000 watt hour. It also comes with a Gates belt drive and NVLO hub. So you have all the gearing and, and all the gear inches you want. Very cool. And just like all of your other bikes, it comes with kind of the adjustable cockpit, makes it yes. easy to share. So one size fits most. So whether you're four foot 11, six foot two, three, six foot four, this bike can fit you. It has the Andro stem, as you mentioned, telescopic seat post, and the upper half is the Keen Creek Thud Buster, which is really nice for your comfort. Suspension fork. Um, the, the lock is on the fork, and that is stock. And that is key to like to both battery cores. So the bike is really well thought through, uh, and consumers love it. Very cool. So this specific bike is set up more as a people carrier right now and if you want to know what it's like riding with the second purse on it we did some riding this morning so stay tuned to this video and we'll get into that but I know Turn has been making a big push focusing on businesses and getting bikes like this to businesses so can you tell me a little bit about how a business owner could use a GSD? Yeah so we think and we know bikes make sense for a lot of things and as such why not use bikes for business, whether delivery or getting from place to place. One of the challenges, a lot of bikes can't carry a pizza or carry a passenger or a cooler or a combination of both or, you know, your dog grooming kit. So people can use this bike in those circumstances. And often one of the challenges, where do I park my car in this city to do my dog grooming? Well, a bike is a lot easier to park or maybe bring it inside where you're going to do your work. Very cool. And I know you guys have, isn't there a specific program that you guys are working with? Yeah, we're, we're, we're making a concentrated effort for on called Bikes for Business, where we're intentionally targeting businesses or allowing our dealers to target the respective businesses so that can benefit from using these bikes. Very cool. And I know that Electric Bike Report intends to do a little bit more work on your Bikes for Business program. So stay tuned for that. So today at the Big Gear Show, we're spending some time on Turn's GSD Midtail cargo bike, which means it's not huge, but it's definitely not small. 
kind of to test how this thing actually handles some weight because it has a, a pretty high weight capacity and when Turn talks about weight capacity, it's kind of a complicated thing. We talk about the bike's entire gross weight, which includes the weight of the rider, the bike, and any cargo. There's some other weight factors in there that we gotta pay attention to, but gross weight is the most important thing. But to test the bike's carrying capacity, I've got my photographer actually on the back in a captain's chair because this bike, is more than just hello, a bike designed to carry cargo. This is a people carrier. And it's got a Bosch cargo line motor on it with 85 Newton meters of torque, 300% of assistance. Very solid motor. Certainly not a speed racer. Um, you know, this is a loop that We've done several times here in Park City on different e-bikes we're testing out, and this is probably not the quickest lap of this little loop, um, but that's okay. This is a cargo bike. It's not designed to go super fast, and got to be honest, I don't know if I'd want to be carrying this much weight at a much higher speed than what we're doing now. We're going like 14, 15 miles an hour pretty comfortably. It's also got an NVOLO hub. It's not the automatic. They uh, built this thing to carry a lot of weight, and uh, so they had to take into account how much torque that internally geared hub can handle, and the mechanical one was the one they chose. They could, it would be a little bit of a burlier setup that could handle a little more. So it's a grip shift, continuously variable shifting, so there's no, like, gears that you shift into, like that you'd maybe be normal, used to on a normal bike. It just kind of, as you shift, twist that shifter, continuously adjusts the amount of effort it takes to ride the bike. I was uh, very, the good folks at Turn very strongly suggested I ride this bike in turbo mode. If we put my photographer Bryce on the back, that was very wise advice. I'm gonna bump down to sport right here and. Yeah, I'm going right back up to turbo. It, it likes the extra, extra energy. So, we'll come into a stop sign here, which is gonna give me a pretty good idea of how this bike handles, because the toughest part about cargo bikes is handling their weight at low speeds. clipped by some luxury SUV going too tight in the corner. Not too bad. It's a really stable ride. I mean, Bryce didn't put his feet down there. So it was just me supporting both of our weight plus the weight of the bike. Not too bad. Now we're going up a very slight hill. A lot of the other bikes here were putting through kind of like, not quite a full hill test that we normally do at Electric Bike Report, but a little bit of a hill test. We're not gonna do that on this bike. We're gonna do a little, little short version of it with just me on the bike, but I don't think it's quite fair to put a cargo bike up the, the hills here in Park City. These things are no joke. Handling wise, this bike is very stable. It does handle pretty much exactly how I would expect a cargo bike to when it's loaded, lo excuse me, loaded down at least. So I've dropped Bryce off at the bottom of our hill here. This is the same hill that we've been using in Park City for most of our little mini e-bike reviews and tests. But <laughs> the, the, actually the turn crews right below us in the road pulling a trailer with like three of their employees on it. That's kind of funny. Um, with this exact same bike. But we're gonna take a little quick, um, quick spin up this hill just to see how it climbs because, you know, even cargo bikes have to go up hills sometimes, but we're gonna do it without much weight on it. It's a nice little ride. It, again, not a speed racer, 
but I'm having no problem talking to you guys. It's a very easy riding bike, very casual riding bike. And with no weight, like if it was just you, if you're like using this bike as a commuter, it's a really nice ride. It's uh, very easy to handle, despite it's got a, the fact it's got a longer wheelbase, a little extra weight. I'm into it. So again, I'm really not gonna push this bike downhill. It's got some really nice Magura hydraulic disc brakes on it. Magura seems to be the brand of choice for term, turn. But unlike some of the other bikes we tested, this is a, a four piston braking system. So super stout, definitely necessary for a bike of this size designed to carry this much weight. But yeah, really solid riding bike. So the GSD, it's a bike that really likes it when you calm down while riding it. Something I always do when I get on like a tandem or a cargo bike or like a just a overall different riding bicycle than I'm used to is I kind of tense up, you know, do like the tense shoulders, grip the bars a little harder than normal. The GSD doesn't like that. It is a very uh, favorable to relaxed riding, just like any bike is, but especially with weight on the back, tense riding and fighting the bike makes it feel just a little twitchy. It's not really a knock on the GSD, more a knock on my own nervousness and unfamiliarity with this bike, but just a pro tip. So Turn is always thinking about storability of their bikes because while this is not necessarily a huge cargo bike, it still takes up a significant amount of space. So will you walk me through of how you guys have come up with a storage solution? Right, thank you. Whenever people hear cargo bike, they think functional bike, it can do a lot of things, but where do I store it? They're so big, they're so long, they're so bulky. And we, we have a solution, even though it's only the length of a regular bike, you can also store it vertically and a lot of people love that for their use. They just stand it on its tail end. Oops. Now you have it vertically stored, so you could put it in a closet, in the corner of your office, corner of your garage. So you could benefit from that when you have a GSD, HSD, or Vectron. Very cool. Yeah, this is something that all three of the Turn electric bikes do. But if you've liked the GSD, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We've done several other videos here from the Big Gear Show with Turn and then other e-bike manufacturers that are also here. If you want to know more about the GSD, check out a link to a written review of this bike in our description below this video for Electric Bike Report. I'm Sam Gross. Dale, thank you so much. Thank you, Sam. Thanks for watching.